morning, Mustangs. My name is Mrs. Belcher, and today is Friday, April 29th, 2022. Now, does everyone remember the sign language we learned yesterday? Our signs from yesterday were aunt and uncle. Try it with me, Mustangs. Aunt and uncle. Good job, Mustangs. Now today, to save some time, we're going to go straight into our sign of the day. And since Sunday starts a brand new month, let's learn how to sign the name of the month, May. Now since May is only three letters, the sign for May is just finger spelling the word May, like this. M, three, three, three fingers up, put them together, Hold them over. M A Y M A Y. Try it with me, Mustangs. M A Y May. Good job, Mustangs. Now we have six Mustangs celebrating a birthday today. Tristan Caldill in fifth grade, Autumn Bonhams in third grade, Chase Widener and R Ryder Widener in second grade, Parker and Peyton Stanley in kindergarten. So happy birthday to Tristan, Autumn, Chase, Ryder, Parker, and Peyton. And we hope all of you have a wonderful day. Now, we have two Mustangs celebrating a birthday on June 29th, Heidi Widener in third grade and Andrew Arnold in first grade. And we have four Mustangs celebrating a birthday on July 29th. Jackson Counts in fifth grade, Leland Hancock in third grade, and Connor Hupps in third grade, and Riley Worley in first grade. So happy summer birthday, Heidi, Andrew, Jackson, Leland, Connor, and Riley. And we hope you all will have the best birthday ever. We don't have any Mustangs celebrating a birthday tomorrow, Saturday, April 30th, but we do have three Mustangs with a birthday on May 30th. Rosalie Lockney in fourth grade, Liliana Pruitt in fourth grade, and Kobe Thomas in kindergarten. We have two Mustangs with a birthday on June 30th, Emma Wyatt in first grade, and Alex Orfield in kindergarten. So happy summer birthday to Rosalie, Liliana, Kobe, Emma, and Alex. And we hope you all have an awesome day. Now we have two Mustangs celebrating a birthday on May 31st, Amelia Dale and Allie Hurd in fourth grade, and one Mustang with a birthday on July 31st, Cameron Mullins in fifth grade. So happy summer birthday, Amelia, Allie, and Cameron. And we hope you all have a wonderful day. Now, lunch for today will be pizza or jamwich salad with ranch dressing, potato wedge, and your choice of fruit and milk. Lunch for Monday will be mini corn dogs, sweet potato fries, broccoli and cheese, pinto beans, and your choice of fruit and milk. Now, today I have a quick announcement about our yearbook. The yearbooks will be arriving very soon, and if you made a partial payment on it back when I was collecting money in front of the office, a reminder was sent home this past Wednesday with an envelope to bring the remainder, remainder of the payment to school. Now teachers, all payments need to come to me. No yearbooks will be handed out to students who have not paid in full. We currently have only 10, count them, only 10 more extra copies remaining for anyone who would still like to buy a yearbook. And the cost is $24 and full payment is required. You gotta get them while they last. They are first come, first cut, first served. Now remember that SOL testing is happening every single day now. Everyone is doing a wonderful job of being quiet and respectful to those students who are testing. Keep up the good work, Mustangs. So I'm gonna shuffle up to my little corner and let's take a look at the SOL schedule for the remaining remaining of this week and for next week. So today is Friday, April 29th, so we have some individual sessions going on, some makeup sessions, and some retakes happening. 
Next week, the week of May 2nd to the 6th, on Monday, May the 2nd, there'll be some more individual sessions or small groups or makeups or retakes. On Tuesday, May the 3rd, will be fourth grade reading. Wednesday, May the 4th, pay close attention. We have a lot happening on Wednesday. Fifth grade math, section one, and third grade math. So fifth grade math, just the first section on Wednesday, and third grade math, it's the whole thing. Thursday, May the 5th, is fifth grade math, section two. So fifth grade, you'll be doing the first part on Wednesday and the second part on Thursday. Friday, May the 6th, we have more individual sessions and makeup sessions and retakes. Now it is time for our interesting fact of the day. Did you know that Flamin' Hot Cheetos were developed by a janitor at Frito-Lay, Richard Montanez, who got the idea after putting chili powder on some rejected Cheetos they were throwing out. And then they were so good that he pitched the idea to the CEO of Frito-Lay, and now Richard Montanez is no longer a janitor for Frito-Lay. He's now a successful executive and motivational speaker. And a movie is in the works about his life. Now, you know. Now, in honor of National Poetry Month, please enjoy the poem of the day. Today is our final poem of National Poetry Month. And a huge thank you to our third grade Mustang authors who helped to make National Poetry Month extra special. Today we are featuring our final third grade poem. In honor of our lunch for today, please enjoy the poem titled Pizza by Harper and Ryder. Pizza, ordering, making, topping, delivering, eating pizza. Now, if everyone will please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now, if everyone will please pause for a moment of silence. That's all for now, Mustangs. Everyone have a fun, fabulous Friday. And as always, be excellent to each other. I love you, Mustangs, and I will see you later.